The canine unit who protect the animals here are made up of armed rangers and highly trained dogs. Each of these brave pooches has a special ability, from picking up the scent of a poacher, to detecting ammunition, and even attacking potential suspects so they can be detained. And their target today is me. The canine unit raise funds for their work by allowing tourists to take part in their dog's training. So Sarah's going to smell my scent and go, that's her, and track my footsteps. Yeah. OK, let's go. We're hiding now. OK, we're hiding. We're hiding from Sarah. This swap is like a scent magnet. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't see me and she just... Yeah, we're testing her. <laughs> Sarah the dog can get everything she needs to know to find me from a quick sniff of a swab rubbed over my footprint. I'm so scared. I don't know what she's going to do when she finds me. I mean, she's got her harness on and she's in work mode and I know more than anyone that a dog in work mode is so focused, <laughs> just like my guide dog girlies. Humans live in a world of sight, whereas man's best friend lives in a world of smell and can follow the scent across the plains. They're coming. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, I don't know if it does. <laughs> <laughs> she probably does. <laughs> All in a day's work. Hey, honey. <laughs> Before I left Old Pajetta for the Maasai Mara, James and Will wanted to introduce me to another type of rhino. Meet Baraka, the blind rhino. This is Baraka. Oh, In our local language, he means blessing. Blessing. You know? Oh, yeah. mm, he sounds sweet. He's eating his little leaves. Black rhinos are nervous in temperament, which can make them really aggressive and hard to get close to on safari. But this one is an exception to the rule and happily lets visitors feed him. Meet Baraka the Blind. He lost his right eye to a fight with another rhino. Did he lose that first? Yeah, his right yeah, his right high Same faster. As me. Yeah. yeah, and then the left high got a disease cataracts, and the attempts to treat the cataracts were futile. I just, I really, I really feel for him, you know, having to yeah. get around in this enclosure and learning his way about. Mm -hmm. And the same with the cataract. That must have been so confusing for him when he was first going blind. Yeah. Was he, was he upset in any way? Could you tell that he was upset? Yeah, he was very upset. Because at the age of 1 to 14, he was roaming free out in the world. Yeah. And I think him becoming blind at the age of 14, he had to learn how to do things in that state. Uh, Again. You know, um, yeah. It was really hard. It was really hard. I know for us, sometimes we have people to help us. We have dogs to help us in our yeah. movement. And, and, and you know, the, the caretakers had to step in, which was not easy because he was still aggressive. So he was yeah. very defensive on himself. So I'm really happy for what he's made of himself and being able to still be here. Yeah, it's so hard. I just, yeah, I understand. I have a really rare genetic condition and I had a cataract too mm -hmm. that um, eventually in my last remaining eye, just like Baraka, mm -hmm. it kind of, like made my vision go and eventually that got, you know, detached my retina at the back. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. okay. It's okay. It's completely fine. But honestly, when you call Baraka a blessing, <laughs> it is a blessing. It is a blessing to be blind because it means he's meant to teach people a lesson. <laughs> he's, meant to, he's meant to be here to, to get people to understand that you shouldn't be poaching these beautiful animals. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hot. Sticking an emotional toll on you. Yeah. Um. <laughs>
realizing the journey that Baraka has been through. James, is he happy? He is a happy rhino. I think the munching itself can tell 